All right, you two, back at it. Arguing with my son. He wants, uh, he wants to play. Mind you, I've been, you know, I braved the winter storm of 2022 here in Ohio to go to GameStop and get this game yesterday. It's dying light too, by the way. Stay, stay human. GameStop was closed, so I went to Best Buy and paid full price for it. And uh, shortly here, I'll be on my way back out to GameStop to take my pre-order from Dying Light 2. I'm entering the tunnels. And hey. and move it over to Seafood. Can you hear me? I'll make you here I come. I think, as a matter of fact, I think I'm probably just going to pay off all the Seafood when I go out there. Move my ten ten dollars from Dying Light over. Move ten dollars from Horizon Forbidden West over to Sifu, and then pay the remaining balance while I'm standing there in the store. And then the only game I had to get left this month is Elden Ring. I am going to skip on Horizon West because I have not finished Horizon Zero Dawn. But um, I must say I've gone from the average seven score up to an eight because I don't believe that I'm going to see any bugs because of the patch. This just came open, but from what I've done so far, even with the inclusion of zero guns and um, with this little meter that I have yet to experience, son, could you please turn that down? Because that is going to be playing in my video. BJ, could you turn that down, son, please? But with the inclusion of the stay alive meter, which when I saw it on some of the other reviews, I was not, I was instantly not hey, a fan. Is anybody there? The weapon is almost broken up for a new one. I can't even repair my weapons yet. But the parkour, I like the little, the little stamina bar. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I mean, I think it adds to the realism though, so it's oh, like whatever. This doesn't look good. But the uh, the the little bit of combat that I've experienced so far, I threw a I threw a propane tank into a bunch of biters, and it exploded, oh and it really felt satisfying. But the little bit of whacking around I did with a couple of biters on my bat or whatever, uh, it feels more organic, it feels more realistic. Um, and then it was like a little oh, shit. Oh, not a mini oh, oh, volatile. Oh my goodness. Too early for that. Alright, well this is this must be where my survival meter is gonna come into play. Yeah. With the UV light. Hit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. We must get to the light quickly. Ah, uh, there it is. Later. We have to move. Resist it. Got bit by a volatile. And now here comes my stay alive meter, which is the premise of this sequel. Like I said, you two, when I first heard this, I'll. Well, now I got a flashlight. Okay. I'm happy now. The, like, I, like I was saying in the other reviews, and this is going to be my third review port part. And um, and then the rest will just be walkthroughs. But, um... 
It, it, it just feels more. I don't know. I don't know if it's maybe the difference between the system or what. But it feels more. I don't. I don't. And I haven't even really started to be able to parkour around the city yet. Jump toward a monkey bar with R1 with R1 and grab it. Push forward to traverse on it. Nice. Now this starts the beginning of my um Stay Alive meter. I like that. You know, the little swinging on the monkey bars, I like that. I don't like um, opening up so much stuff. Oh, got some shoes. Got some cigarettes. I don't like opening up blockers and not finding anything at all. I don't like killing a biter and then searching their body and finding nothing. I don't like that. <laughs> I should have known that was going to be locked. Up in the vent. Looks like I'm up in the vent. It's gone. I told you. I'm coming back with the bomb. But like I said, like I was saying though, YouTube. No no guns, the stay alive meter. Those two things instantly turned me off about this game. But you know, the other reviewers, they were being harsh on the scores because of the bugs. I haven't encountered any bugs, even though I've been playing only been playing for a couple hours. I'm probably not going to encounter any bugs. Um, but at the same time, they all said the same thing. Dad, where did you hide our key, boy? I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You're going to make us let him go, punk? So I didn't see you do that. Bring him! Oh, he socked me. Alright. Pre uh, more tutorial. Press on I want to block. Block at the very last moment before a perfect block. Perfect block stacking the enemy, make them vulnerable. Short one on time. Well. Combat seems way just way more into it, it, you know. It's just and, and with the in the original dying light, swinging my bat, you know. You know, you, you, you see the skeleton glow or whatever. You see him be decapitated and arms come off. But at the same, but at the same time, sometimes it felt like... It felt like sometimes my, my, my weapon was going through him. But... In this one, it feels better. Combat level up. Let's, let's see what we got. Right, let's unlock the first combat skill. Perform a kick while vaulting over an uh, obstacle or a staggered enemy. Nice. Hover over the kill I over the skill icon to purchase the skill. Jump over staggering enemies and follow up with a kick. Run towards a staggering enemy and press R1 to perform a vault. Press R2 during a vault to vault kick a nearby enemy. Nice. I, I mean, so I can... Look, see, look at that. And I mean... Uh, if they took the guns out, you understand, and they, and they added this meter, you know, they, they're they adding on to some things. And like I already said before, 
it, it, the combat feels more organic. When I hit them, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's the haptic feedback or whatever, but when I hit them, I feel like I really hit them. my pocket. I left you something. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You were going to tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fish Eye. There, ask for a girl named the Wan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. They're coming. You hear that? Renegades. Run. We'll go together. Take this. Right, let's go. For some reason, I thought it was going to be my first gun. <laughs> uh, nope, no guns. Use vault to increase your mobility in combat. Run at a staggered enemy and hold R1 to vault over. Press R2. This is the foundation of parkour combat. Later you'll learn more skills that will further expand your abilities. Alright, well let's try it out. find out what's going on here because I thought I was doing it right run towards the staggered enemy and oh he's got to be staggered and press R1 to perform a vault press R2 during the vault to vault kick all right so it's got to be staggered wait It's not doing it, so I guess that one of these enemies is not staggered yet. Yeah, it's, it's not as easy as it sounds. So, Alright, so maybe I gotta... First little bit of a glitch there. <laughs> All right, hold on. That's it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> nice, nice. The slowdown is stuttering a little bit. Um, Feels pretty satisfied. I'm not even going. I ain't even going to hold you, you two. Come get some punk. I am 
<laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you two. It feels satisfying. I'm serious. I mean I ain't even gonna hold you. <laughs> um all right, and I mean, just because, just based off of that, off of this combat, man, I'm a... I thought I was gonna be so. All right, they're gonna have me do a couple more. <laughs> I don't think I could ever get tired of that. I'm serious. So you see that? <laughs> My son's not even watching the dropkick mode. Is it none of the drop kicks, son? Right now, YouTube, you know, with this being my third and final review, I think I'm just going to go ahead and bump it up to an 8.5, and, and uh, we'll leave it there for the third review. That drop kick was eerily satisfying, and there's only more to come. So, no guns, nah. You first. Like I said, I really don't know how to feel about this. Uh, they like me. Wolves can't get the Jiori key, remember? What? Let me out! Fish high. The one. Go, go! Damn the traitor! I get it. Hey, fellas. I hate the last half of Fritter. Let him go. This key is not yours. You can't. Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him. But he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Someone's here. Escape from Walton is history. The thing I remember.
thing about um about dying light um even though I just completed it yesterday <laughs> seven year old game you know I remember that that last mission with all of the parkour and running to escape I really really appreciated that it was you know my heart was racing it was something that I was like okay you know like they really really went ahead and um went ahead with this but it was it was parts in that in Dying Light 1 where like underwater in certain parts where I really wasn't really sure where I was supposed to go just like now <laughs> I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go but the lighting is better you know underwater above the water To Villador. Am I gonna make it before my little blue arm runs out? Huh? Okay. Alright, well, I didn't die. I thought I was gonna be dead. Absolutely. LBGTQ insensitive. Oh, that hurts. A lot of different, um, just a lot of different everythings. Okay, because I'm missing something, so. I can't even craft it. I ain't got no medicines. But the light, light, mm, what I can say for sure, lighting is better. You know, it's, it's, it looks, it, the game in itself looks amazing anyway. It's on the PlayStation 5. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's definitely going to be you know, leaps and bounds above the Xbox One. And here goes my survival meter kicking in. Into the unknown. And I'm pretty sure YouTube that will just, I'm just going to upload my whole gameplay experience of this. Um, Every time I play Dying Light 2, I'm going to put another YouTube video up. And uh, I think Dying Light 2 will be my first um, on this page where I actually complete the whole thing even though I don't have a whole lot of you know whatever's I'm still gonna upload it um, but so far I'm having a lot of fun with it like a lot my son's sitting here playing on his iPad looking he got his lip poked out he looks pitiful because he wants to play PS5. He's been grinding on NBA 2K22 as my player. Did I play the first half of my of my game against the Utah against the Jazz? Who the fuck is this? He doesn't have a biomarker. Oh, wait, I, wait. I just asked you, could I play my first half of the of my Lakers and Utah Jazz in the playoff series? You said you don't care. Fuck you. 
tell you about. Shh, shh, shh. Not now. <laughs> Yana, get the engineer. What the fuck is it? Dr. Terry, will you? Bring him here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally a nighttime gamer, YouTube. You know, my son been here with me for the last couple, three days. He's been snowed in, so he's been he's like moving. basically taking the whole day Kill him, pack on. and grinding on 2K. He done found some friends now Breathe. playing in the park. And the thing about it is, YouTube, leave me comments for this one. He hasn't turned. I have PS5, pack on. Xbox One Series X, here. Xbox One S. And a soon to be purchased Nintendo Switch OLED. And a PS4. And a PS3 and a PS2. Super Nintendo. I'm, I'm a console gamer. My son is more of a PC gamer. But I have 15 games on my PS5 library. Two digital. One of those games is NBA 2K22 for the PS5. And my son plays NBA 2K22. For the PS4, the digital version, on my PS5. But I, I don't understand. I don't get it. going? To a safe place. That's what he does. Get to the fish eye. The fish eye. Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker monitors the diseases. I try to tell him if everybody had a choice. Without it. He said nobody cares. Stepping out of the light is. But I try to tell him if every if people had a choice like he has a choice. You need a biomarker. And I know where to find one. He Come said, on. he said nobody likes to play the PS5 version because nobody likes the city and everybody likes the park. What he doesn't realize is people can't even get PS5s. Relax. If you got control. a PS5, you're, you're lucky. Fine, hey. You're Don't blessed. Take a minute. You're a gamer. Drink. So, you know, Drink. I guarantee you, if those people had the, the option of playing NBA 2K22 on the PS5 in the park or, or on the PS4 in the park, they picked the five. Can't tell him that, though. Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. He said nobody likes the incineration is trash. But I'm playing Dying Light. None of your business. I play 2K every day. What are you talking about? You a real Cause you've been here. Or you steal that badge? I'm a, I'm a. I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here, your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on, let's go. First view Not of bad. the city. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protected like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. It looks really, really well, can good. Can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but you need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the hell hey, did you not... Don't it sound like Crane, son? 
My main character? Easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran? They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Ah, uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. Hmm. What do you mean, last game, son? This is a single player game. Oh, look at the map. Look at the Take a look at the map, YouTube. It's massive. <laughs> It is massive. I thought the, I thought Dying Light One map was big, and then they extended the map. Look at that. Look at that, son. My son doesn't care about the stupid map. Over here. Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. Special unit? For seven years. I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. I ended up driving a cab. Ouch. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you. At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh, come on. Stalin has depleted. You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. I like the little shadow bro, with this. The way this city looked. Wow. We're gonna wrap it up right here, YouTube. Yeah, it's your boy Jordan A. We're just gonna start it out, out of the solid 8.5 out of 10 for Dying Light 2, but that score could go up. But so far, I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba.